Tongues and Tails and Unicorn Darts here with Michael Smith after his first round victory. Michael, good match to watch. What was it like to be involved with? It was not It was a good match to be involved in. It was just a struggle the first two sets. After I started to feel comfy then, the treble started flying in the doubles. So I'm pretty happy with that game. Do you think the pressure of people talking about you quite a lot before the tournament maybe has affected you slightly? No, I don't, like, I don't watch darts. I'd rather watch like Emmerdale or something like that. <laughs> I leave everyone else do the talking. I just go up on stage and do the talking with my darts. How's your preparation been for this one? Well, it's been immense. I've been practicing three, four hours a day, every day, non-stop for the last three weeks, and everything's been flying in. So I've gone on stage of confidence there, and that first two sets, it just didn't happen for me. But then I just think I just kept saying to myself, you've been practicing really well, don't let it affect your game. And I come back out the third set, I played pretty good. Finishing's obviously going to be really important to you if you're going to stay in the tournament for much longer. How do you think you finished today? Um, I could have been better, but I don't think it was that bad. It, was, it wasn't bad at all, but it could be better. Do you think going forward in this, that, that other than finishing, there's much you need to work on? Or is it just a case of relaxing and, and feeling it flow a bit more? No, it's just the mental side of the game. I'm not the strongest mentally, and you can see that from past games. So it's just work, if we work, get the mental side right. The game's already there, it's just being mentally fit for the game. Are you feeling quite pumped up for this one, mate? Inside of you, are really passionate about getting through this one? Because obviously, you're going to want to win it as, go as far as you can, but do you feel personally that you actually can do it? Yeah, I know I can win it. Otherwise, I would have stayed at home instead and just watched it on TV. I, I believe that I can win it. If you don't believe in anything, you're not going to achieve anything. So I could have sat at home and watched this. <laughs> and then to be on stage and doing it now, and people's watching me play, it makes it even more better because it gives you the confidence a lot more. And I know I can win it. So the people back home with their confidence text message ringing, I know I can win this tournament. How important is support for you from other people? Yeah, it's massively. We sit at Ellen's, there's, there's me, Chizzy, and Bunting, Alan Tavern, who's just come back next year. And the support we get from St. Ellen's is massive. You get some idiots on social media, but that, that's what social media is there for to give you grief. But you know your true fans are is when you're playing really bad and they're the ones behind you, uh, that side here saying, do you want this, do you want that? And your fake friends is when you win somewhere and they come up. So you know when to get rid of them. Man. What was it like up on stage today for the, what the fans like? Yeah, the fans was good. I don't, you kept seeing when someone gave me a wave. I didn't know who it was. I kept turning around and he was looking up into the stands. So I was like, it's not me, it's not men, so who's this? And then they was booing when they didn't get the wave. But apart from that, they was really good cheering the 180s, the doubles. Well, congratulations on making it through to the next round. Enjoy your Christmas and we'll see you when you come back. Thank you, mate. There Cheers. you go. Tongues and Tails and Unicorn Darts here at the World Darts Championship, keeping you at the sharp end of World Darts.